stay on the vlog. It's the night before Halloween. All Hallows Eve. Let us see what we can get into. <laughs> see if I can get this guy to turn correctly. I want to try to see if I can get at least something to work with this. Don't you just love it? You're trying to be spooky and everything. You don't hear anything but all of a sudden your dog just goes and it looks around like a spirit just walked by. I don't believe in ghost. <laughs> Oh no, I love Halloween, love ghost stories, love all this stuff, but ghosts the one thing I never really believed in. I remember um, probably the way I grew up, my deeply religious grandmother, um, when, I, when I was growing up, she would always tell me something very specific. She goes, honey, ghosts don't be afraid of because What's it buried in the ground? Is it going to hurt you? So like when you die, you go you go above or below. And I maybe because she always told me that that was the reason why I've never really believed in ghosts or anything. But ghosts were the one things I was never scared of growing up. <laughs> I mean, granted, um, it wasn't a great deal I was scared of. And I'm hoping I'm not washing myself out with this bright light. But I might be. I am. Forgive me. Because I was trying. I turned it off. I was trying to get this to kind of illuminate me. And if I can turn that bright light, if I can turn that light down a lot, then hopefully I'm hoping that this light will stay. We'll see. But. Ghost. I've actually read, I've had a, I've read a bunch of ghost stories and I've actually had family members tell you ghost stories. I mean, generally I think that's a lot of times the, I did hear something that time. I don't know what it was, because my heat pump turned it off. Uh, but anyways, a lot of times my family members, you're a little kid, they tell ghost stories. And it's like, oh, I remember when I was little, blah, blah happened and this happened. And I always liked the way my uncle would tell because he, he, would, he wouldn't tell ghost stories. He'd tell what he did. See, now that is weird because as I'm sitting there talking, my, on my viewfinder, it has the box around me showing what it's focusing on. For some reason, it focused right here a second ago. And I just saw my dog staring at me. There's a fly in the house. <laughs> but anyways. My uncle, he, he'd, tell, he'd tell me stories about what he do, what he did to my dad. When he was, my dad's the youngest of seven kids. 
So my uncle would tell me about how they would all um, be in the house, and they'd, um, I think he, he was the oldest or one of the oldest, and uh, he said what they would do is it's okay. Maybe late at night, it's like, okay, who wants this, some kind of piece of candy or something? And he said, whoever, okay, go outside, run around the house, the first one back gets the candy. Well, what he would do is, since my dad was the youngest, he was the slowest. And my dad, I mean, all the other kids were a little bit faster. So they'd all run around the house, get back in, he'd shut the door and lock it. <laughs> and I'm like, it's kind of mean, isn't it? So basically, you have all these kids are in the house doing stuff. And it's like my dad was outside, or one of his, or one of my aunts, or somebody, or my own other uncles. So yeah. But yeah, remember. Uh, I think my parents are in their, my dad's in his 60s, maybe? I know he's in his 60s. But how late in the 60s, I'm not sure. But 60 years ago, see, 38 years ago, it was, um, I think my dad's 68, actually. I think he was 30 when I was born, if I, can't, if I remember correctly. I think. So, I think I remember what he said. So, 30, so he was born in, like, the 40s. So this would probably happen in the 50s. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what, they, that's, what kid, that's what people did for fun. Kids did it for fun in the 50s. <laughs> Was it the 50s, maybe? Maybe 60s? I don't know. Can't remember exactly. But yeah, always fun. But yeah, the um, ghost. But that's my, my aunt, the one that, that raised me, was deathly afraid of pretty much anything. I don't think she ever spent a day alone in her life until the day she passed a few months ago. She ever, there was always somebody there. Grandma, uncle would go to work, he'd go to work at 3, 4 a.m. But at that point, she'd been asleep and she'd wake up and she'd eat it. And yeah, I mean, until, let's see. So when she had my cousin, her son, her son, in, uh, they lived in Chicago, I believe, believed, believe, and they would, I believe, yeah, she, so he was there with her, and then before he moved out, me and my brother started living there, so there was always me and him was there, and I think around the time we came to college, they had, I think my uncle had retired pretty much and was home all the time. So yes, I don't think she ever really spent much time alone. But she, I didn't probably because the way they treated her when she was younger, of walking, probably walking around the house when they tried to play a game and run around the house. They all knew what was going to happen. They still did it. <laughs> so yeah. Don't get too scared on Halloween. Don't get too scared on Halloween night or anything. Have fun. That's the good thing about Halloween horror movies. It's a way to be scared and be safe. You don't have to worry about all these things. Getting scared is good. It raises your adrenaline. It helps you. It makes you feel something. And it's a safe way to do it. That's why I go to haunted houses. People love them. It's a way to get scared and not have to be in a life-threatening situation. Hope you guys had a good day. I love this time of season, so the time of the year. So, again, it's focusing right here, right now. Now it's focusing on me. As soon as I pointed out, it changed to me. It's kind of creepy. Don't know why I did it, but it did. But, you guys had a good day. Talk to you tomorrow.